Today is episode one of our five-part series on Drew Holiday's defense. Episode one will feature his on-ball defense with three points of emphasis. First is going to be chest stops. Then it will be beating to the spot, beating the offensive player to the spot. And third part will be hollowing out. Okay, so chest stops is stopping a drive by squaring up the ball handler like he does against Tobias Harris right there. Tobias Harris is driving his left shoulder into Drew Holiday's chest, and that is a chest stop because he squares up the ball handler. So now when we want to discuss chest stops and any live ball defense, let's talk about Drew Holiday's stance. Okay, so he's going to be in a boxer stance. So what that means is you're in an athletic position where you're not so low that you can't move laterally. In a boxer stance, you want to be wide enough where you can move to beat the offensive player to the next spot and cut off their driving angle. So you can see his feet are a little past his shoulders, but they're not so wide that he can't move laterally. And he's not so low that he can't explode and drop off and beat the offensive player to the next spot. He's on the balls of his feet, as you can see right here. His shoulders are over his knees, which is being in an aggressive stance. And with your shoulders over your knees, it's allowing you to be on balance with your chest up. You're not delivering the contact to the offensive player like Drew Holiday does right here. But you're allowing the offensive player to hit you in your chest, which is the offensive player creating the contact and you're stopping their drive by being in the correct stance to get a chest stop. Watch right here. Watch how he slides his feet laterally and getting his chest all the way over to stop the driving angle. In this example on the ball screen switch right here, now watch how Drew Holiday gets two chest stops. That's one. Now, the offensive player is going to try to bump Drew Holiday again, but because his shoulders are over his knees with his chest up, he can take the contact right there. He's on balance, which allows for him to get a high hand contest, and that affects the shot. You can see here he gets good lateral movement because of his stance, and he gets his chest over with his shoulders over his knees and stops the drive by Marcus Smart, and that throws him off balance. So the point of emphasis, two is beating the offensive player to the spot. What that means is the offensive player is starting to beat you, and then the defender must pick an angle and sprint to reestablish good defensive position. So right here, it looks like Kyrie Irving is going to have a straight line drive to the basket. But what Drew Holiday does is he's going to cross step with his right foot right here and sprint to beat Kyrie Irving to this spot to take away his driving angle to the rim. It's going to force you to get out of your stance at times, but it's necessary to cross step and then beat that offensive player to the next spot. You can see, watch his right foot again. Right here, watch his right foot cross steps there. He's able to start to beat Kyrie Irving to the next spot, and he's able to get his chest over to square up the ball handler, and that's a stop. An important aspect of being a good on-ball defender is having the ability to be on balance and deaccelerating so you can get back and recover to contest or to deaccelerate and then be able to change directions and get the next stop again. So watch here. It looks like Dame has an advantage. He's going to have to cross step. He's slowing down here, and he's going to get his chest over to stop the drive. And since he's on balance, he can now high hand contest, and that forces Dame to miss. Now in this example against Darren Fox, Darren Fox thinks at this point he could have a straight line drive to the rim. Drew Holiday has to slightly get out of his stance. He's going to have to cross step with his right foot. Hands wide and high, and he's going to beat Darren Fox to this spot right here. And since he's on balance now, because he decelerated, he slowed down, he can now give a high hand contest. 
The last point of emphasis on today's breakdown is hollowing out. It's a concept that I stole from Drew Henlon, and he learned it by studying Michael Jordan's on-ball defense. So hollowing out is when the offensive player starts to gain an advantage, like it looks like Goran Dragic has an advantage right here on Drew Holiday. You're going to shuffle or drop off, and this is going to force the offensive player to lose their balance. And you're doing that by sucking in your core, which is forcing you to drop off and then your hands are gonna be high and wide, so you get no foul calls. This is an excellent example right here. It looks like Zach Levine has an advantage on Drew Holiday. Watch how he drops off, hands wide, and he squares up Zach Levine after he hollows out so he can beat him to that next spot. Watch on this example. It looks like Will Barton has an advantage. You can see he's dropped off. He has his hands wide, and he's going to attempt now to beat Will Barton to that next spot, like we talked about in point of emphasis two of beating the offensive player to the next spot. Now, Anthony Edwards looks like he has an advantage driving baseline. You can see Drew Holiday has now dropped off or shuffled off. Watch again. He drops off. He's now going to suck his core in. And you can see his shoulders start to go over his knees. And he's going to have high hands. And they're wide. And he basically beats Anthony Edwards to that next spot. In this last example, watch how Trey Young looks like he had an advantage right here. He's going to drop off with his hands high and wide to take away any passing vision too. And that is going to stop the drive by Trey Young and make him now bounce the ball back out and they have to go back into their offense. So today's feature episode of Drew Holiday's on-ball defense talked about getting chest stops, beating the offensive player to the spot, and then hollowing out.